Hello and welcome to One Take Wednesday. This is a series of videos I'm doing where every Wednesday I discuss a hockey related topic and I do it in a single take. That means no jump cuts, no edits. The only edits I'm actually going to do in this video is I'm going to put some overlays up just to make it easier for you guys to know what I'm talking about because in this episode we are going to be discussing the worst, the worst, like seriously, the worst rebrand in all sports. And by all sports, I mean the top four North American leagues. NHL, NFL, NBA, MLB. And that rebrand was the rebrand of the Anaheim Mighty Ducks becoming the Anaheim Ducks. And I'm not including teams that like change cities, so not the North Stars becoming the Dallas Stars or the uh, Thrashers becoming the Jets or, or Quebec coming Colorado or, you know, whatever. I'm just talking about Teams staying in their own city and basically just rebranding themselves. The Mighty Ducks. A design of the 90s, which, if you look back, is not really full of designs that really aged too well. The 90s was a cluster of pretty terrible designs. The Mighty Ducks logo and design was revered back then, like most 90s designs were. But 30 years later, not quite 30, 20, 25 years later, it's still revered. It's still looked fondly upon and partially due to pop culture, the movie's success and everything. But also the fact that it's a very unique and well done design. It, it features great colors. You got jade and eggplant, which are used by no other team very unique it's just their own identity and they go from that to a drab black and orange team uh, with colors already being used by another team in the philadelphia flyers i'm not saying it's you know flyers look as drab and bad or whatever but like you're going from a great unique color scheme to a already used color scheme and unoriginal color scheme and the logo and the word mark are just uninspiring. They don't really bring out anything great. And you may say, well, it looks at least more professional. It's less cartoony of a logo. Well, so what? For some reason, professional sports logos can't be cartoony. Although you could argue that the Penguins and the Sharks and possibly the Canucks have cartoony logos. Who cares? It still looks good. And that's really all that matters. This is all brought up because the Ducks have unveiled their new third jersey for this upcoming year, their alternate jersey, which for their 25th anniversary, they tried to just mash up all the different eras of the team. And they have some design elements from the old 90s Mighty Ducks you know, era, but it's mixed in with all the rest of the crap from their rebrand and in the end they really just kind of came up and made a Chinese knockoff jersey that's basically what they ended up with it looks pretty atrocious and they're only gonna be using it for one year so after this it's back to the same old they'll have their orange alternates with that Mighty Ducks crest on it which is okay but it's still the dumb colors that they currently have Ducks, please. If you want to be, oh, just mm, not so stupid, go back to your original color scheme. You have the rights now. It's not like you have to worry about Disney anymore. You can use the Mighty Ducks logo that is just far superior and far more loved by not only your own fan base, but the NHL and the entire world, really. So please, enough with this nonsense and just go back. Just go back to it. Thanks for watching this episode of One Take Wednesday. I hope you appreciated it. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate that as always. Most importantly, stay safe, make good decisions. 
and I'll see you next time.